Hey, how's it going guys? Thanks for watching. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video today of some vintage cards um, that I actually had a family friend ask me to sell some of his baseball cards um, on eBay. So I was happy to help him out. And I just wanted to share some of these awesome old vintage cards that he gave me to sell. So let's go ahead and put these off to the side and we'll go one by one. There's about 20 cards or so total. I'm actually not a big vintage card collector myself, but I would really thought some of these cards were pretty neat. Um, kind of makes me want to own some of these myself um, one day, but uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So first one here is one probably a lot of people will recognize. This is a 1968 Topps Nolan Ryan Jerry Kuzman rookie card. So this is um, a classic rookie card of Nolan Ryan. I actually do own this card um, in a PSA 6 in my own collection. It's one of the very few kind of pre-1980s cards that I own. Um, you can see there is actually a scratch over Kuzman's face, but overall still um, pretty good shape for such an old card. Um, and again, really, really awesome looking Nolan Ryan rookie. Next one is a Roger Maris rookie card. Um, I should mention these are actually all rookie cards as well. Um, so this is actually really good condition. Roger Maris. And this is his 1958 Topps rookie card. In great shape for a card from the 50s. All right, moving right along here. Next card we have is a 1965 Topps Tony Perez, along with Kevin Collins and Dave Ricketts. Again, pretty good shape on this one. And all of these have actually already been sold. Um, I'm going to be shipping them out today, but I just wanted to make a quick video documenting these because I think they're so awesome uh, before I pack them up and ship them off. Next one is a Juan Marichal 1961 Tops rookie card. Got a little crease in the top there, but nice centering. Hall of Famer Juan Marichal. Great pitcher for the Giants. Next one's also a pretty iconic card, I would say. This is a George Brett rookie card from 1975 Tops. A little off center, left to right. Corners are a little, a little banged up, but still a beautiful looking card. And the next one is a Jim Palmer rookie card. This is his 1966 Topps rookie card. Another Hall of Fame pitcher. Card's a little, little banged up, but no creases and Good, uh, great looking surface, great color there. Decent centering. And the next one is a Hall of Famer who actually recently passed away. That is Joe Morgan. And this is his 1965 Topps rookie, along with Sonny Jackson there. Hall of Fame second baseman. Joe Morgan. 
There's actually one other one, uh, another Joe Morgan rookie card in the collection that uh, the family friend gave me that I'm going to be listing on eBay in the near future. He probably sent me, he probably gave me um, maybe 500 or so cards total to list. And these are just, like I said, about maybe 18 to 20 cards here. So there, I have a lot more to go, but these were just some of the highlights and some of the cards that I just recently sold. Next one has a card I'm really jealous of. I do not own this in my collection, but I have looked to purchase this um, in recent years. Just never pulled the trigger. And this is a 1963 Tops Pete Rose rookie card. And this one, little rough condition. All four kind of soft corners, a little surface wrinkle on the Pedro Gonzalez face, as you can see that, but just really a nice card. Another iconic baseball card. This one sold for just over $500 on eBay in this condition. I'm curious, maybe looking back on this video in a year or two, or five years, where this card is gonna be priced at. The card market's just crazy right now. Everything has been going up this year with COVID and everything. Everybody's inside during quarantine going through cards and buying cards. So just wondering where a lot of these cards are gonna be at um, in a few years once things settle down. I'm not sure if the card prices will continue to rise or maybe um, maybe soften out, maybe go down over time. The Nolan Ryan um, sold for just over 300, about, about three and a quarter on the Nolan Ryan. Those were the two biggest sales. Um, Roger Maris was the next one. I think that one was just shy of 200 for that one. Next card here is a 1970s Tops. Thurman Munson, rookie card, Hall of Fame catcher. Definitely off center, top to bottom. Not bad, left to right. And a few more here. Another Giants Hall of Famer, Willie McCovey. Tops All-Star rookie. And this was from the 1960 Tops card, uh, Top set. Pretty good shape overall. I'm running out of space here, so I'm gonna just have to, I guess, overlap some of these. Uh, next one is a Billy Martin rookie card. This one is from 1952 Tops. That's a classic set, that 1952 Tops set. Some major creases there. It's a poor condition, but very um, desirable card as well, even in this condition. Got some writing on the back. And Interesting thing about this collection of cards, the, guy, the family friend that told me about these, and he's been collecting for, I think, like 30, 40 years or more, said he's never spent more than $40 on a card. So everything you see here and the rest of his collection, literally, he's never spent more than 40 bucks, which was pretty amazing. Um, you know, one thing I'll share, actually that I found um, in his collection. He actually has mostly vintage cards, but he actually collected even into the 2000s and, you know, even up till kind of recent years. And I asked him, I said, hey, do you have any cards from 2011? And he has everything really well organized. He has everything indexed and organized by team and alphabetical, like crazy well organized. And he wasn't sure um, 
but he opened up his box of 2011 cards that he had organized alphabetically. And I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Maybe you do, but this was one of the cards that I pulled out of the box. Pretty awesome. Great centering, great condition. He didn't even know that this card was valuable. I didn't even know he owned it. I'm like, yeah, that's probably the most valuable card that I've seen out of everything you've shown me so far. So he was blown away that this was, I think this is right now in raw condition, maybe seven, $800. cards going for and this one um may send in for grading because it just looks like a pretty sharp card pull maybe at least a psa 9 maybe even a 10 which i think the 10s are going for around 3,000 nowadays so anyways just wanted to quickly share that one that's not part of um his vintage collection but thought that was uh worth sharing Okay, so going back to the vintage cards, next one is this Orlando Cepeda rookie card. And another great uh, San Francisco Giants Hall of Famer. And this card is from 1958 Tops. Next one is 1968 Tops Johnny Bench for rookie card, Hall of Fame catcher. Some centering issues for sure on this one. But man, he has just got this great collection of Hall of Fame rookie cards, vintage rookie cards. You got a Joe Torre 1962 Tops rookie card. Got about three or four more here. Don Drysdale. That is his 57 tops rookie card. Pitcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers. And next one is a 63 tops Willie Stargell. Pretty nice shape. Good centering on this one. Left to right. Pretty good shape. And we got two more here. So we have 72 tops Carlton Fisk and Cecil Cooper on the same card. Major centering issues on this. But again, just a classic Hall of Fame vintage rookie card it's quite the collection here if you guys like this video um, let me know give it a thumbs up um, and or comment and maybe i'll make some more videos of um, some of the other cards that he has because he's like i said he's got quite a collection i'm going to probably be spending the next year or so listing these cards for sale it's going to take me a while to go through everything and photograph and list it all but um well worth it and next one is rolly fingers from the 69 tops set in pretty good shape on this one sorry about that focus but and corners edges pretty pretty clean on this one and I said that this was the last card, but I actually have one more quick one that I'll show you. I actually have not listed this one yet, but I was also considering sending in for grading along with that trout because it was in such good shape, I couldn't believe it. And that is this one here. Reggie Jackson, rookie card. Is this his, I guess it's, it's 69 tops, I believe. And this card is, I couldn't believe how sharp this card, card is. has a tiny little printing dot there. But corners, 
edges are all clean. I checked the surface pretty closely. It looked pretty clean overall. I'm thinking this card could pull a seven, maybe even an eight, which would make it quite more valuable than if I sold it raw. So might have to think about sending this one to PSA. The only problem is PSA is just backed up right now. So orders are taking forever to get to get back, but might be worth the wait. The guy told me he can be patient. He's kind of leaving it up to me in terms of how to sell these. So I suggested maybe grading some. He was open to that idea. No hurry. So curious what you guys um, would recommend. Should I grade more of these raw cards? Sell them as is? This Reggie is just way too sharp. Maybe I could list this as is raw, but really have a high buy it now price because it's in such good condition. Or do you think it'd be better off just sending it myself and selling it after it's graded? Let me know what you guys think. And that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Look out for more videos in the future. Have a good rest of your day.